Yeah, what we we want I want you to finish. This should have been done already, which is a very clear statement regarding the purpose of selecting the topic that you have selected. Uh, first of all, focus on the wording of the topic. And many of of the, of the I mean the statements that you've had about your topics were very general, and and, and I really pinpointed that. But even uh, linguistically speaking, you know, the wording is very very important. Okay. Now, why is this topic worthy? What is the purpose? Why? You may just make a list of reasons you select this topic, and you select among them, choose from among them what you think should be really stated. Okay? Then, how did you reach this topic? How did you reach this topic? Another thing that you, you might, not you might, you need to uh, list major research questions that you are handling. Uh, uh, with this topic and again for each step do brainstorming until you refine your thoughts your words and your commitment even if, as I mentioned to you earlier this is tentative it's not really final later on we might make some changes regarding what we're supposed to be doing and the way we know more about the topics that we read about them and this is why today, inshallah, uh, for probably next week as well, we'll focus on uh, our annotated bibliography. And, and all of you know what we mean by annotated bibliographies, okay? Uh, because in, in this, uh, you'll follow the same procedure that we followed in, in the past, but here will be sticking, will be very, very meticulous regarding them, I'll be very frank with you, and to, uh, uh, in other classes, we, we focus on and you need to pay a lot of attention to this. This time, we'll, you will have a minimum of seven articles. Uh, you already know your topic. Therefore, uh, we'll follow the same procedure that you used to follow in the past. Okay. Uh, you make a search. Now we know how to go to the electronic, uh, the Saudi electronic library. Uh, and you may just find your sources. Uh, all these articles should be, uh, in, in the, they should be from scientifically recognized journals, okay, uh, periodicals uh, that. Uh, uh, scientific periodicals. I mean, the word scientific sometimes misunderstood, but they are periodicals. Okay. Uh, you may use books. I would recommend that you don't use books for the time being. Focus on articles. Okay. So you need to run a search uh, about your, your topic and select a minimum of seven articles. You follow the same procedure that we follow with the annotation. If you have uh, something in mind that you want me to clarify, I'll be very happy to do that. I think it's available in one of the classes that we had, and I might just post it in your course as well. The course, uh, this research method course, okay, uh, how to do annotation. And, alhamdulillah, I think you did it twice or three times or more. Probably have done it with other professors as well in other classes. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to respond to. Can you listen, see this on the board now? And it's a bibliography. Okay. This is again, well, inshallah, uh, show it to you. Uh, I'll, I'll just post it in, 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 in the blackboard for this course. But here, each student is required to make an annotated bibliography on a topic related to the issues discussed in language policy, language planning. We're not dealing with this course. Anyway. But now you know what you do. Decide about the topic area on which you want to do your annotation. Search for a number of articles related to your topic. I suggest that you should search uh, for 10 articles. You could make more articles. You list as many articles as possible you could find. Then you choose from among them. Not the shortest one, please. The shortest one could be the most difficult ones. But the ones you feel very much related to what you're doing. Uh, select five and not seven. Uh, read each article extensively. Well, this is very important. 
If you want to do a good annotation, you should develop, now you won't develop an idea about your field. So you read extensive. Uh, I said for more than one, the two times, until you feel that you have grasped the, uh, not the main, the main ideas. See, even I do make mistakes, you see? Ideas presented, okay? Uh, the, the best annotation is when you throw this article away and you start writing from, from your, your memory what the author is writing about. That means you have grasped the article. Please do that. Try to understand what, what is written. Not each page, the, each, each line. No, 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 forget about that. The main idea is presented. You write them down, you go back to the article. You look at it. And now we need to focus on the methodology, on something that I'll add later on here. In the methodology that they follow. In the past, we only looked for information that they, they presented. Now we want to look at the methodology that they followed to reach what they have reached, okay? Because they will benefit from that when we do our research, okay? Allahumma uh, salli rasulillah. Read each article now. Write an introduction to introduce your annotation. Uh, answers to the following questions are desired to be included within your introduction. Jameel. Okay. Uh, why did you select this topic? This topic for annotation, this topic for research, or this article. How is it related to your course? I don't know. You don't have to answer this. How did you search for? How did you search for these articles? Something that you may include in your introduction, and indicate the difficulty you found them, where you found them, because that will open ways for others to benefit. Okay. Uh, and uh, make others appreciate uh, what you went through into getting these articles. What shares search venues did you follow? Okay, uh, library search, electronic library, uh, LLBA, a uh, friend gave it to you, uh, somebody recommended this article for you, you read it in one of the courses and you want to use it here. How are these articles related? And this is very important. Uh, Proceed in summarizing each article using your own words in order to avoid plagiarism. Uh, because this has become a very uh, epidemic disease. Hakika, please focus on this issue of plagiarism. The summary of each article should be in the range of one typed page. Okay? And if it's more than that, it's not a summary. After summarizing each ar ar article, uh, in its own, you need to do an overview by interrelating the five and the seven articles for not more than one page in terms of how do they agree with each other, what framework or approaches they followed, okay, the methodology that they followed, how do, you, do they differ in their treatment of the topic selected, you need to stick to these questions. One of our very meticulous about these. Okay. What are your comments, suggestions, and critiques regarding the way the annotated articles dealt with the topic? Okay. After completing the above mentioned major steps, you need to arrange the parts of your annotation according to the following outline below. This is very important. Okay. You follow this outline, Jazakumullah khair. 